Alright, today we're going to be installing the Rome built side steps on our Mercedes Sprinter van. So we're going to be working on the passenger side right now. It covers the sliding door as well as the passenger uh, cab door. They're aluminum, so they're super lightweight and they've got a nice black coating on them that really matches the look and feel that we're going for. Uh, there are a total of five different brackets to, to mount on the passenger side. There's one here at the passenger side door and then four more along the rest. There are also two angled brackets that will be mounted, uh, one for the cab door and one for the sliding door, and this is to help with some of the uh, pressure that's put down. You'll need a few tools to install these. Uh, while the side steps did come with the side steps, rib nuts, bolts, and washers, uh, you will need uh, a drill with an eighth inch bit and a half inch bit. They recommend 17 30 seconds. Uh, we just used a half inch. Uh, a rib nut tool for installing the rib nuts, as well as some uh, rust oleum or just paint primer to cover any fresh, you know, uh, unprotected metal, and some Loctite, both to hold some of the rib nuts in place as well as to hold the bolts into the rib nuts. Um, it's not much more than that, it's pretty straightforward. So let's begin. All right, we've used a floor jack to lift up one end, and then a just kind of workbench stool to hold it in place, and ice to help me align it. We just marked the first center two so that we can get these in place and put everything relative to that. A little bit easier to hold it in place and make sure all the, the bolts are aligned. So we'll get to it. Now that we've got all the rib nuts in place, it's time to mount the side step up to the van. And then we'll be adding the support beams uh, for the front door and the sliding door section. So it's very exciting, let's go. It snowed a bit yesterday as we were finishing up the side steps, uh, so it's now day two and we're going to be putting the support brackets on. Uh, Rome built sent three different brackets, uh, all shaped slightly differently to support various pieces. There are two brackets for the passenger side, one at the sliding door step and one at the passenger door step, uh, and then one for the driver's side. Each of the support beams looks slightly different. But it's a similar strategy. You need to rib nut into a no drill zone on the chassis of the van, which some people are concerned about. I've heard some people mention that they don't actually need to. Unfortunately, we did not receive any bolts to go between the support beams and the side steps. Uh, we did, however, receive enough of the rib nuts and bolts for those uh, into the body and, and chassis of the van. Um, so we just went to the hardware store and bought some matching MA bolts, nuts, uh, locking washers and two washers kind of pull it all together so let's get started and we've got this bracket in the passenger step went on pretty well and then the passenger door step so you could tell because the bracket here has a shimmy to the left um, I believe that's to help it avoid this storage compartment. One problem is, we 
we're still hitting here. So they've notched out part of this. You can see this little extra flange here does not continue all the way. Unfortunately, our side steps are a little bit more forward. And so I'll have to notch out part of this uh, so that it will align well. Otherwise it's a little uneven with this. So a bit of a bummer. Uh, the driver's side turned out pretty well. Here's the driver's side. The flange at the bottom goes to the right and gives us some support uh, to get out of the way of the suspension here. So this one was pretty tight to get in. I uh, used a jack to get it up in, into place and put some, some bolts in so that we can mark the whole locations. All right, here's the locations for where our rib nuts will go. I used a Sharpie to mark so I can see visibly, and then a center punch to kind of start a little dent a little bit. I'm gonna use a 1 8 drill bit to start drilling, and then a stepper bit to get to 1 half inch. And then we'll mount it. All right, our holes are drilled. I just used some quick rustoleum to cover the bare edges. And it's time to rib nut these in and mount the brackets. Cool. Rib nuts are in. Let's mount the support beams. All right, so here it is, all mounted. So we're going through the rib nuts in the chassis of the van and the bolts we purchased going through the mounts on the side steps. So this is the passenger side step. And we have the passenger door modified slightly. So we'll still clear this little canister, the storage box. And we've got the driver's side. So the driver's side with the flange going off to the right. Looks super nice. Very happy. All right, that wraps up the side steps. They look pretty good. They're on there, nice and strong, pretty durable. We can mount around on them. Uh, we've got some for the passenger door as well. Uh, very happy with them. To summarize, we ended up drilling some new holes in the underside of the van, installing rib nuts into those, and then mounting the side steps into those rib nuts. Overall, we're quite happy with the side steps. They look great, they're the style we're going for, um, but it was unfortunate that we had to make a few modifications and, and had to find some additional bolts uh, for the support brackets. So uh, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. It's super easy to install, although a bit of a pain. Uh, but yeah, for, for what you get, I think it's fantastic and, and a great addition to the van. So yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share if you enjoyed this one. Take care. Okay, you're beautiful and smart. <laughs>